Things are getting boring at the shop. <laughs> Well, as you can see, the uh, special delivery is going to sit on the other side of the shop for now. Can't remember what I did in the last intro on that, but she's all back uh, together, rolling nice and properly. Got the Curry 9 inch in here. You can't really see that, I guess pretty dark but so pretty much this whole side of the shop over here is going to be empty besides scooter's truck which is apparently a permanent fixture over there because I don't know we can't figure out what color we're painting it or some kind of nonsense but uh, either way so that thing will probably just be sitting there in the way forever and then scooter can cry and complain because of something but either way we got this whole side of the lift our whole side of the shop ready to go in this lift open so it's looking like we're probably going to bring three cars and a sweeper over here uh the shit box shit box malibu will be coming in for sure uh Probably the C10 with the smashed roof. We're gonna put the new roof on that. Hopefully this camera is freaking dirty and you can't see nothing on it. Um, but obviously the Roadster is just sitting there still because, well, we ran out of ambition. Basically because of the fact that it's winter and what's the rush to get it back together. Basically the crank could probably use cut. It's not exactly perfect. But besides that, I gotta still get the rings for it. Nope, I got the rings, damn it. Uh, I gotta get bearings for it, but I gotta figure out about getting the crank cut before I get bearings. That kind of concludes that Roadster, which everybody can sit there and whine is still sitting there, but. And then of course we got Debo, which we're still playing around with it. We're not really four by four guys, so everything's a learning curve. And of course we had to have 50 inch freaking tires, like maniacs, but you know, like I said, it's all learning curve. So it seems like shortly, the only thing that's gonna be moving on this side of the shop is the two year olds, 24 volt four wheel drive. That'll be the only thing sitting there for now. Just got to finish cleaning up a few things around here. We got the paint booth going up next door. And then the other side over here is still dark. I don't know if, uh, no, you can't really see the sneak peek of the all steel 40 huts in there, which is just a sexy bitch. She needs to be a gasser, but uh like i said we got things in motion uh obviously we haven't had any videos coming out recently but we're gonna have a thing with we have a bunch of content that was made that was never released so we're gonna kind of do like a best of oh you can't see nothing can you nice so we're gonna do like a little thing here with uh like the lost videos of this year. So shortly we'll be able to put all those together and uh, you know, we'll get that together. So you can see all the nonsense that never made it, that we just never got around to, or I messed up and didn't do an intro, or you know, I could blame anybody I want, but 
I was blaming myself because it's all my fault because who else is there to blame? But, oh, yeah, the Plymouth. That was my wife from back in the day. The car I drove to high school. I moved her for the first time in years and that was pretty sad, I'm not gonna lie. But we're uh, moving forward. Still got the Model A truck sitting over here. We gotta play around with that a little bit. Like I said, we gotta bring a few things over there to the warm side. It's cold over here. You think we had more light over here, what the hell? But this is what it is, so. I'll uh, catch up back with you here shortly and you'll see whatever is getting moved over there. Of course, we're gonna fire this bitch up. Hopefully she starts. <coughs> nice. She doesn't like the cold so much, just like nothing else does. We'll give her a second to warm up. Uh, she seems all right. Just finally figured out the whole starter operation grinding forever but here we are uh, it's kind of cold here it sucks it's December you know is what it is Side is so empty. What are we bringing in? Seems like I'm trying to sneak away to Florida. Take the kid with me. The green coop seems like the best candidate, so I think she's gonna be up eating there. But I guess we'll find out. I could change my mind like a woman sometimes. But here we are back to you know, probably can't see very well. The front end is not really on very well. The front end that's in that thing is a little bit, uh, he can't see me probably. It's a little bit beat up. Awesome, there was a fucking, another one sitting in the car. It's pretty sweet, so we're gonna swap that out at some point. If Terry ever decides to make it out to the shop this year. But there's a poll on it to see if he makes it out here before the year's over. Out of the way, we're gonna pull a few things in. I don't know if you see that there. We are going to pull a few things in and then back this bitch in at the last. I've been dealing with everybody's nonsense, so I decided I'm drinking tonight. Sitting here by myself, having a couple beers. Pretty lame, but, you know, what can you do? Only got so much time away from the kids, so here we are. Who knows if the shit box is going to start. You guys, move out of the way. And this is the shit box. Who knows if this thing's even starting? I don't even remember it started. That's something. Sounds like a fuel pump. That's a fuel pump. Fan. Air pump, ignition, fuel. Got a little smoke from the headers last time. Some oil that was on there. It never got burned off. Or it's leaking oil now somewhere. Eh, 
seemed like residual from last time I was leaking some stuff. But I guess starting with the shit box, I'll start with that. Hmm. I wonder what else is about to come in there. So hopefully I'm doing this stupid recording thing right. But here we are moving on to the next thing. Seems like the most logical thing is poop. Cause like I said, I'm trying to sneak off and take that thing to Florida with me and the kid. The axle seal is leaking on the driver's side. The coupe needs to go down to the keys. Again. Well, for now, it seems sufficient. But we definitely don't have enough room for the. What are we putting there? Something's got to go right there. Hmm. Coop has enough room to go around her. I should sneak that thing around, but it's good. I'll have to put something small right there. Who knows what we're doing, but. I don't know. This is why I shouldn't be drinking. Thinking that over everybody. And uh, I would think that the old Cornova virus is about to be sitting right here. And uh, we got to change them turbos, right? Thing kind of revs like. I don't know, it rubs like, I can't even say it, I'm trying to not use the potty mouth. So, we're going to fire that thing up. Uh, I guess we're actually just going to pull that thing straight in, maybe, if it starts. That way we can play around with turbos and everything else. Because I'm not trying to back this bitch around. Oh, that's cold as shit, E85. Twin turbos, who knows if this thing will even start. It's cold as shit. It's like something. Well, let's see here. Let's see if she even starts before we get slap happy. Huh. I guess everybody that has a cold startup problem with the 85, they must have computers and shit. That's why I roll the carburetor. Don't get me wrong, I haven't quite figured the carburetor out. But when I do, I don't know. The carburetor seems like the way to go, but everybody I know with fuel injection, this guy here with the Mordor, um, always seems to have a little bit of a problem. It's not something basically like this that's, you know, not very fast. And when I say not very fast, I mean like, you know, something that doesn't run like 990, like a single digit in the quarter, something under that's fast. Under that, I mean, it's not fast, but, uh, you know, just problems with them, with turbos and all their shit. Everybody's always got an issue, so. We fired up. I guess we're good to go back and out. <laughs> all the water in the fucking thing is funny. But we don't know if we're giving up on the, uh, the JB Weld project just yet. But I guess I'm keeping this motor in here until it comes out itself. But Stupid little hook on 
something or whatever. I really need a window net. Clearly, shitbox made the show. Nova, coop. Quick little rundown. The coop is uh, pretty much ready for business. It's got an axle seal leaking. Uh, just gonna tighten up a couple little things on it. Nothing major. Like I said, I'm hoping to sneak off and run away to the keys since I'm about to be 40 and the keys are my happy place. So hopefully me and the kid make it down there, but the coupe would be the one to take on the trailer because clearly I can't just be easy and just take one vehicle down or anything like that. So the Cornova virus is about to finally get some new turbos. We're done with these things. Things are revs like crap. Cam might be too big. The JB Weld might not be working. I don't know. We're going to throw the other turbos on and see what happens. The Malibu here is, uh, as you've seen in previous, uh, it's got a weird rockers on it that are moved over. They're kind of a pain in the ass. They're a pain in the ass to adjust. Somebody didn't do it right. Either way, we're pulling the heads off. I was pulling the whole motor out. I think at this point, I'm just going to pull the heads off, make a determination from there. As much as I hate to say it, I might put some steel heads I have laying around on it just to get it back to being mobile because I don't necessarily have a bunch of time or money to be spending on small block Chevys, which sounds like crazy if you say that like that, but... <clears throat> Uh, I just don't know how much of the heads are going to cost. Who knows how long parts are going to take to get. The valves are weird or not. So for now, we're just going to pluck the uh, heads off of it. And uh, we'll go from there. But tentatively, that's the plan. Debo's are back up in the air. After Willy Nilly put a pretty nice sounding system in it. So she's just hanging there. We're going to change the oil pan figure out a few suspension things and uh that's about it so like i said i'm gonna uh, take the turbos off pull the heads off hopefully here do this oil pan right quick so all got to be in a little bit of a sequence so that uh permatex on this thing has plenty of time to dry and that jazz so i will uh you'll see what's next